Hi and welcome. In this video and modules, we're going to be addressing a whole lot around your learning journey. First, how do you get or let's say where do you get the data for your project? So people are looking for data, but where do you get this data you can work on as a project? Number two, how do you know the kind of project you can work on based on the data you have with you? And lastly, how do you create a business use case around that data so that you can actually address a business needs at the end of your personal project or portfolio, you know, the portfolio you are building? I want you to know this very well. A lot of people have come to me or the reason why they go, they are seeking for internship is the need to cover some knowledge gap, need to have some experience. But there are some experiences or some skills you will need to have before you can even secure internship today. You thought you need to get an internship to secure those, to have those skills. But I'm telling you that no, you can have those skills without securing an internship. And this is why it's important that whenever you're working on a project, or a use case like we're going to walk through in this whole video, you are able to demonstrate those skills. I kind of call them minimum viable skills that you need before you can even become an intern. Today, these are the skills you want to learn when you get there. Meanwhile, these are the skills they want you to demonstrate before you can even come in. All right, so it's very important that this module, you take it as your mentorship guide, is that thing, is that module, is that resources that is answering those questions that will have gone ahead to ask a mentor. All right, see you in the subsequent lessons. Time to answer your question, where do I get data for my project? The answer is Google. So if you search Google data, open data set, you will see. And one of the sites you will see is cargo.com. So cargo.com slash data set. Right here, you see, we have thousands of data sets. You might even want to be specific, go for classification because as a beginner, you might want to start from there. Over 2000 records, data. And you can see for that dimension, this is between 5 MB to 10 MB and say CSV. I mean, I take gypsum, I might take anyone. I, I just applied this. You see a lot of data here. I might be interested in this guy YouTube data. Just open it up, uh, online transaction, so that I can learn more about them. Oh, I mean, interesting. See the Twitter <laughs> 13 days ago that just you know been uploaded. A lot of use cases, e-commerce data. You can also see that here, right? And right, you can open them up. Pay attention to the license when you come to the data. Uh, metadata you see if it's public or not and this goes a long way so that you have license to use them and explore the data itself feel free you know feel free to explore the data itself you can see different data you have you have to merge together and understand youtube metrics that will meaning you have to go and read about it online shopping transaction look at the data see the instruction about it i mean already this is data and e-commerce this is just three this is just random exploration and we already have data so why the question where do i get data all right so i want to give you this task now go ahead come right here search for data try to copy the url to some of these things and at least 10 or 20 just keep it somewhere for yourself you know later you can go back to them to look into it i don't want you to close it i want you to capture it and that is your assignment do it now As you continue your quest for sample data for your project, you will also come across UCI Machine Learning Repository. I've dropped the link in the tweet and in the video description section. Here you can also explore a lot of use cases. For example, you can see the most popular data set since 2007 and the newest data set. Just by going through this, there is a lot of data samples that I, I can click on. I can see bank marketing. You may want to work on something like that. Um, I see car evaluation, it could be something you want to work on and even the recent data you can go around, you know, check and try to look at one or two of that. Uh, right here I can see the metadata around this is for class, associated class, task is classification, uh, number of attributes is 17, this the date has been there, you know, number of instances. Uh, these are the sample data that comes, you know, the columns that come alongside with that data. And these are the relevant papers that you can read to understand more about the industry, the KPIs, and the rest. That is fantastic. You know, why you say you don't have data and you have the folder where you can download the data? 
you know, we have different type of uh, four data sets and that is the description here all are inside this folder which you can download and coming back here uh, this is another one for car evaluation you also have it here too these are the details of this data and the most appropriate thing is also a classification algorithm motivated data set and it's categorical you see this is also another site all i want you to do here as your task is explore this site view all data set you know check everything and try to copy 10 links to data set of your interest and add it to the existing list that you currently have okay thank you Still on the journey to answer the question, where can I get data? I mean, this is another one, openml.org slash home. I like the animation here. Okay, so you just navigate through this waffle button, you see data set. I'm going to click on data set 21,000, I mean, oh, actually 3,480. Right here, you can take your time to sort and go through this a lot. Um, for example, this data now is the, this data set classified people uh, described by a set of attributes as good or bad credit risk. This is a sample data I can do. I can make you fit in to work in the fintech. You know, um, right here I've clicked on it. You can see you still have to go back to UCI. You see attributed to UCI, which is the same place that we went to before now. Uh, but of course, if this is the site you see, you can work on it. This is it. 21 features. See the properties. See the different tags that has been done on this, and you can download this data and save it you know uh, so take your time i won't be going through this you can see the csv download is it pdf even json you know we're still going to get to that point where you really want to connect to data coming as json and sml and not the regular csv or structured database yeah but right here take your time as well go through this you know environment explore the data you will see that actually there are data out there This will be the last sample data that I'm going to show you, but this is to prove to you that data are out there. But you know, we are gathering data later, we start featuring and know how to work with them. If you go to this web ad, uh, website, which I also found on Google, you will come across this blog that sort of consolidated a lot of these data sets and add some context to it. So, searching through this, you see more customer data sets. I'm very sure this data is coming from Kagu, but it sort of tell you the data science project idea. Do you see that? You know, you move on to other one, Irish data set, people say it's popular, but if you don't know where it is, this will link you back to it. Um, also, this is email classification data. For Pakistan data set, this could be helpful, um, you see, with even project idea, you know, idea around it. So you can also click on this. Tata, oh, this is popular, Kagu data set, Titanic data set, Uber pickups, data data, and 70 plus, wow. Which is for machine learning now, our project ideas. Okay, if I go back here, you see this one is actually coming from Kagu, and the other one is coming from UCI. Do you see everything is fall back to Kagu, UCI, and some other site? The reality is here, it is not just the data, it is how do you work with this data? How do you create a business use case? How do you know the kind of business use case you create? How do you know the kind of project that is fit for those data? This is the missing gap. And we're going to tie all these things together and everything in between in this module. So I hope I've been able to at least answer this question, where can I get data to work on for my personal project? So not only for a data scientist, even data analyst, you might not be predicting with this data, but you can run analysis on them, right? So your task is to go through this, almost every, save this URL because that's the primary URL and try to find additional use case that you are interested in but have not been you've not been able to capture it for example you might want to take this now you know credit card fraud detection data set you know just gather them at least 10 as well add it to what we have what that means is you have 40 different data sources we're going to review them later bye for now